show daddy. Well, get, <laughs> get that binky out. You are not a baby boy. I'm trimming his bangs. No, you're not. Yes, I am. I already did. There's a little chunk over there. Welcome to day. Guys, we hit double digits today. No punching. No punching your sister. How many days? Look at that hair. Oh, mommy. Heck yeah, guys. Day 10. I honestly... What is he doing now? I can't even... I can't even talk. These kids are just too entertaining. Are you stuck? Yeah, he looks stuck. Oh, my God. <laughs> we finally did double digits on a daily vlog channel. Dang. That's crazy. That's crazy. Look how long this is. This hair is almost two years old. I haven't cut the back. Two years. How Mommy's... Long? Look how long this girl's hair is. <laughs> <laughs> I got a daddy day. Actually cutting hair. Yeah. Yeah, but that's not gonna do nothing. Did you know? Oh, it that's will. Just that's just like a tiny yeah. little slither. A and candy. Mm. I think you just get the clippers and ring. Can we get the clippers and cut it? Can I show everybody what the elf did? Yes, your mom. There it is, right there in his little ball pit. I love it. Oh. Her, daggone it! How do we know it's a her? This yes. has not been proven yet. Oh, there. Uh, mom said she had it. Yeah, she does have earrings. I think it's a boy. No! All right, fine, she, it's a girl. She has eyelashes. <laughs> so, yeah, she's a girl. He looks like the mayor off of, uh... Oh, my gosh. The, the mayor? The mayor off the Grinch that stole Chris. Really? How his hair is, like, folded in the... What's up, man? <laughs> You guys funny. <laughs> Mommy getting <Gengora>. her. <laughs> you said come and get me. Come and get me, Mom. Now what? Screw it. Screw it. Screw. <laughs> Screw daily vlogging, dude. What the heck, bro? I say that because I feel like when I don't have one, I'm letting you down. Big time. I got nothing today. I got nothing today. I got, um, kind of yesterday more today, though. We got a sick kid, man. Kane, my little man's laid up on the couch, and all you can do as parents is be there for them. Raging fever since last night, and as a parent, you almost never feel more helpless than when you have a sick kid. The only thing you can do is be there. That's my day, man. That's all we're doing. I'm gonna throw like two things in this video and that's the day. Unfortunately, it's all I have. Our podcast, it's so awesome and I love it so much. We had to pause down for some background stuff um, very momentarily. Like it's coming back, big guests. Like you guys are gonna be, you guys are gonna be really shocked on these guests. Absolutely incredible big guests coming. Like I'm even shocked and surprised and, and I'm so excited for the podcast. You guys could see my joy in that in that project. I'm genuinely happy inside that podcast. So that's something that is coming very soon. Straight up, I don't want to do all the ad reads. I just didn't want to do it. I don't want to fill the podcast with ad reads. So I'm I'm we're working that out so that I can be in the clear of doing that. The the podcast is just so new. I want to do what's healthy for the podcast. And I, I just personally don't believe filling it with ad space is what's healthy for now. Maybe in the future when it's so established and, and people expect that, okay. But right now, personally, I don't feel that's what's healthy for the show. As I figure out how to remove that ad space, the podcast will return very shortly. It's it's already in the works. So if you love the podcast, thank you for being patient. I know it's, it's already been weeks, um, but we will come back with some bangers and that will be where I find a lot of joy. I at least, um, I got a funny story for you guys today. I This is a true story. It happened to me recently and uh, it goes like this. I was uh, I was pumping gas. Why do things happen to me at gas stations? Then I just tell you, I just did a gas station story. Um, I swiped my card to pay for gas at the pump and it aired on me. And naturally I swiped my card again and it said, please select grade, which is the, the grade of gas. So, all right, perfect. Select my grade, pump my gas, pump my gas, everything's fine. I get in my truck, I was driving my little truck. Somebody that worked at the gas station came out and said, hey, did you just pump gas here? And I said, yeah, I just, I just filled up my truck. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. And I was like, I did get a card, I got an error, but when I swiped again, it told me to select grade. They're like, okay, all right. So I leave. About two hours later after I leave, I get a text from the sheriff. The sheriff, he texts me uh, and basically asks me if I'm available for a phone call because the uh, the gas station reported, I'm reading this off my phone, the gas station reported that I did a drive off, which means I, you know, somebody that comes, they pump gas and they take off without paying. So the gas station reported that I stole gas. Wildly confusing because I swear that I, I, I paid and I pumped and I 
talked to somebody and I left. So straight up, first thing, the gas station assumes that I've stolen gas. Like Roman Atwood has stolen gas or like filming a video, something. He's up to something. The sheriff texts me and I'm like, what in the world is going on? But here's what happened, guys. And this may have happened to you before. It's never happened to me, but just at the right moment, somebody went in the gas station at the counter and paid for gas on my pump on accident. They were trying to pay for their pump, but they gave them my number. So as soon as I swiped my card, they were inside paying for the same pump. So their money went to my pump. They bought me gas, essentially. Well, I swiped, I got an error because gas has already been paid for. So when I pulled it out and I tried again, it told me to select grade because gas has already been paid for. So basically I, you know, the next day I ran to the gas station, gave them, it was like $27. This is my little white old 1980 pickup truck. It holds no gas. It's like 20 some bucks. I just walked in and paid and felt like a crook, dude. I felt, <laughs> so that's it. Small podcast update, little family update with the sickness and a quick story about another gas station. Another gas station story. I don't get it. I literally just told you guys a funny gas station story. I didn't tell you they'd be great. I just said that I'd do it. And overall, I will say I've been having quite a bit of fun with these. Um, Brittany and I were in the bed last night talking about like how crazy it is when you don't film because the moments we catch with the kids, I mean, I'm editing these videos. I've edited every single one and I'm smiling watching Cora and I'm smiling, like I'm, I'm capturing these memories again. And that to me is what this is all about. You forget it. You'll lose it. If you don't upload it to YouTube, it's gone. It's in some hard drive or SD card or... The YouTube is the only way to actually archive this stuff properly. Like it's a real archive. It keeps track of your date when you posted and it's edited. That part of vlogging, I, it's just fantastic. I challenge you, because some of you want to create content. Just do it every day. Do it every day. See what happens. Like it's, it's, um, I know it's, it's not the algorithm anymore. When I was, when, when we were in our prime, YouTube vlogs was the algorithm, man. You, you, we would just climb and flourish and it's not the algorithm anymore. Attention spans, fast paced swiping, you know, these are the new short form content. This is the new algorithm. And there's plenty of people that make incredibly huge numbers on longer form content. I'm not one of them anymore. <laughs> but those of you watching right now, Thanks for being here. I love you. You're beautiful. You're one of a kind. Smile more.